Less connection. And we're live. Yo. Don't worry, it's not just Mason. I just got to start the camera. Don't worry. Of course, don't worry. What? The audience was worried. Let us know if you were worried or not. Yeah. I think you're worried. I need a good Mason. Know, check. What are we doing like, today? I feel like we're giving a speech. We're going to do a debate, actually. We're not going to talk about anything in particular. We're just going to debate. Yeah. That's not going to happen. Are we debating debates? And whether or not to do them on live? We're, we're going to debate if debates are debate worthy. <laughs> okay. We're in the weeds already. Today we're talking about um, our new filter, which as you see out on the table, and hydrogen peroxide. We've had a ton of questions on how to conserve your hydrogen peroxide, and really we'll go a little bit deeper on what to do and best uses with hydrogen peroxide. The reason why this video was recommended was because we did upgrade to a new pump system, much more powerful, and uh, there's gonna be some tips later on that are gonna talk about how you can save your HP. HP? Not the computer, not affiliated. Infringement. Infringement. H2O2. So, um, we got a new filtration system, and uh, we kind of wanted to do some of this follow-up. And a uh, quick little shout-out, if you do need to upgrade, please visit us at info at zenflowco.com. You will speak to... Me! Our guru! Um, a really quick comment below with any questions or any tips that you have personally that, you, that we haven't covered. Uh, we watch this throughout the week and we monitor it and we will until next Wednesday when we do a new Facebook Live. We will do our best to answer your questions. Uh, let us know how we're doing. Let us know what you think. Um, if you have some judgment to pass towards Mason, completely appreciate it. It's never been a thing ever in my life. I just started it. It's a thing now. So, uh, it says big energy. You get on the camera for one time and all of a sudden you're the bigger guy in the room. Yeah. You like this? Okay. How do we start this? So, let's talk about our first pump um, versus our second pump. We've actually, we've been through a few. Yeah? We've been through, this is our third. Okay. So, the first one was a single yep. 500 pump. And we just did the one. It was just, one, uh, excuse me, 250. Okay. Uh, it was 250 gallons an hour, I believe. Um, and it was just a single pump, similar to this, actually. Um, and we just noticed that the water movement wasn't where we wanted it. And um, it was a little bit harder to keep clean because the, the UV, the, the pump wasn't moving enough water through the UV. Yeah. So we just wanted a little bit more power and quality. So we went to two. Yeah. Remember that? We had, we had one pump that was connected to the hose and the filter bag, just like this. And then we had a separate pump that was just for water movement and additional UV. Correct. Which worked well for a while. I mean, it was, I guess the point in that, and like even bringing this up, is we are constantly trying to upgrade. Like, it's an evolving process for us. So as technology gets better and we find that out there, that's, that's really what we're shooting for. Yeah, I mean, the plan is to always keep improving and... And to make sure that anything we do improve on, um, you know, you can just pick up separately. You don't need to get a whole new tent version. You can just attach it to your existing tent. Yep. So that's a big thing with us. Um, and then we landed on this one, which, so the previous ones were 500 gallons an hour total with the two pumps. With the two. Um, and this one is 1,700 an hour. With the one pump. With the one pump. And a much stronger UV. Yeah. So it moves the water faster. Um, you've got more water movement, which is really, really, really important. You don't want to have stagnant water. Um, and then it gets more UV filtration time because it's moving the water through faster. So the UV light is at 140 watts. So let's talk a little bit about, well, before we go on, let's talk about the host too. So let's talk yeah. about our whole, our whole system and why we switched uh, to the PTFE hose. Yeah, so our first hose, I don't know, existing customers probably know, but it was a clear uh, rubber plastic material. Yep. Um, and this one is uh, a PTFE material, which is still plastic. Um, but the difference is, is the tube on the inside of this uh, is totally smooth, like on a micro level. So there aren't grooves and, and ledges and things like that for bacteria to get caught on when it's flowing through the tube. 
So um, everything will pass directly through the tube, won't get caught here, you won't have any buildup in your hose, and then it'll go through your filter bag and then get stuck here. So that's the difference, that's the reason why we moved to this hose was just for that bacteria to keep, or that um, material to keep moving through the hose into the filter bag. It's really one of those upgrade things. I mean, we just, you know, from feedback to people who had purchased our earlier versions, that this is something that they were um, experiencing. So we researched and found this material, and so far this unit that we have put together here is uh, it's our best bet so far. Yeah. I like it a lot because with our previous version, we had magnetic straps that had to hold the pumps down. Yeah. Um, and with this setup, I don't know if you guys can see okay. I'm going to, excuse me for a second, I'm going to zoom in so yeah. you can see. Get some close-up on this. We might as well. <laughs> so the old one, like I was saying, it had two straps. So you put a strap under the tent, and then you put a strap over your pump to hold the pump to the bottom of the tub. Uh, but this one, it's got a rigid design, so the, the filter bag still goes through the loop, so that stays in place. And then this fitting right here that connects the hose and the filter bag to the pump is rigid, so nothing will bend or move, so it helps keep the, the pump down. Um, and then also, the, the previous pumps weighed around two pounds, and this one weighs eight. So it's quite a bit heavier, um, and it, it stays on the, on the tub floor a lot easier. Um, and it doesn't float around or bob or anything like that. Able to get rid of those straps again. Yeah, and that, that for me is like one of the biggest things is just to have it totally solid where you put it. You know it's going to stay there. It's not going to float around. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the uh, UV and the double plug with the UV. Let's get into the hydrogen peroxide. Okay, yeah, yeah. So um, you can see on this, let me take the filter bag off. Easy, quick disconnect. Yeah. Um, and that stayed the same, so if you have the old filter bags, you can use them on the new system. Um, so with our new pumps, you can see here that this is the actual pump unit, and then this is the UV filtration unit. So they're separate. I can actually just disconnect this. So this is the UV part, and this is the pump part. Um, and they have separate cords so that you can plug you know, just the pump in or just the UV in, depending on what you're doing. Um, and one thing to mention with this new system is it is going to go through hydrogen peroxide a little bit quicker uh, just because it's moving the water faster and it's getting more UV filter time the peroxide in the water is going to break down quicker because UV breaks down peroxide so you just want to keep that in mind um, the one thing you can do is because they have separate plugs you can filter so what you want to do is you want to keep your pump on whenever you're not floating so you just want to maintain that um, and then with the UV filter, you want to just turn that on after you float for two or three hours. You don't want to keep the UV filter on all day because it'll just keep breaking down that peroxide. Uh, but if you keep it on for two or three hours, that'll give you sufficient UV filtration and it won't break down your peroxide as much. You'll still get the water movement. The water will still pass through the filter bag, so you're still going to get the micron filtration. Um, it's just that UV won't be turned on. You won't see that blue light filtering the water um, and breaking down your peroxide. So two great things there. One, it's going to save you uh, power and yeah. expense on power. And then it's also going to help you to conserve your hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, and it depends on what peroxide you use, but it, it, ultimately it's going to save you a little bit of money too every month because you won't be adding as much peroxide. Um, you know, even if the water, because the, the peroxide is naturally going to break down, so you've got to maintain that level and keep adding it. But if you keep the UV filtration going all day, every day, it's going to break down a lot quicker and you're going to need to add more consistently. Yep. So it'll save you, save you some money every month by just using this two or three times after you float. That's important because that's when you introduce outside material yeah. to your tent. So just make sure you do it after. So just recap for everybody though, how long should they keep the UV light on for? Like what would be the best... Uh, recommendation a couple hours before the float or uh, so the UV yeah. I would do I would do two or three hours after the float so get in do your float get out turn the UV on for two or three hours come back turn it off and then it's been filtered for the next time okay so you just turn it on every time after you float for I would say three hours so no worries of doing it before the float then yeah I wouldn't really worry about doing it before the float just because you've done it previous Okay. You haven't been in there yet, so I would just do it after and then wait till your next. Okay. Yeah.
Now what about checking levels and maintaining levels? Yeah, that's something to keep in mind with the new filtration system. You might want to be more vigilant about checking your levels. Um, we did notice after doing our own testing in the office here that it was running through uh, peroxide a little bit quicker. So just keep a more vigilant eye on your levels, your peroxide, your alkalinity, and your pH. Um, and the big one's going to be the peroxide, like I said, but um, yeah, I would check those weekly. Okay. And then again, if you have any questions, of course, give us a call, shoot us an email, leave it in the comments section. Um, Mason's, we joke all the time and call him our guru, but he really is as far as the knowledgeability of our product and what it takes to... And we'll say it again, it is super, super hard to recover your water. Yes. So please, 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 if you have any questions, get a hold of Mason. Yeah. Just even if you're starting to question, make sure you contact us so we can help you save your water. Yeah, I mean, you, we, we've both done, we've done both. Yeah. We've recovered water, water and we've maintained water. And it's yeah. a lot easier just to go in there once a week or once every few days check your levels, add a cup or of this or a teaspoon of this. Yeah. It's a lot easier than trying to bring it back from the brink. Yeah. And then, well, I, I, if we're just going to talk about water, yeah. realistically, how long are we looking that we should be able to keep that water? That's a good question. It, I, I think you're going to get more water life with this new filtration system. Okay. Just because it's going to keep it moving. Okay. Um, I would say a year and a half to two years if you're maintaining it with constant maintenance yeah so that's the caveat there you know you don't want to let your water go for a month and then do that on month's end and, and think that you're going to keep your water for a year and a half it's right. just not going to work that way so yeah and we have to be diligent here at our at our tent that we have down here at zen so yeah we've let it get pretty gross well we've done it on purpose because we wanted to test both sides of the spectrum we wanted to see what it would take to recover the water so we can make sure to answer any of your questions yeah but I like to float a lot, so it's really up to him to make sure the water's uh, good to go. Let me ask you a question. What? Did you like bringing it back more than you liked maintaining? N no. Although he doesn't maintain it, so I can't even ask you that question. I maintain it with my presence. Does that, does that count? Yeah. Well, I can tell you I hate bringing water back. <laughs> yeah. It's very easy to just check your levels every week, check your salt level, yep. check your water level. Stay on top of it. So now where can they find our new system? Yes, yeah, so, so really what this is intended for is for existing tent customers, um, or tent owners, excuse me. So we have a page, I think. Um, we'll put a link it, up. Yeah, I don't know if we have a link directly to the page, but what you should do, the best way to find out more about this is to just send us an email. I don't know if we have an, an actual page uh, for, you to, for you to buy this, but if you send us an email, I can get this for you. Yeah. So, um, whether it's a page or, or whatever, just, I would send us an email. Well, and something to keep in mind too, we do have our Facebook page, which are actual tent owners. Yeah. And that's something we want you to get involved in too. I, I think as you've noticed, as time has go, gone on and we've, we've done these Facebook Lives and we've really reached out, we're trying to start a community here. I mean, this is, obviously we love what we do and this is a business and we want to grow and we, I mean, success is the goal. But we want to make sure that you experience floating. So if there's a way that we can connect you with peers, people that, that might have the same questions and you can get tips and tricks from them, we want you to be part of that group. It's a big deal. We monitor that too. I don't think we answer as much on that because it's really fun and it's exciting to see other outside tips from that. Yeah. But it, you know, it just helps you be part of the floating community, which as we know is growing and growing and growing. Yeah. I troll that uh, group. Mason Trolls. I skimmed through the group. Yeah. <laughs> so let's recap this. Yeah. You want so, me to start? Yeah. New system. New system. Awesome system. Yeah. I love it. Best so far. Yeah. We had... Um, same filter. Yeah, same filter. So if you've got filters, I know people buy um, in five packs. So if you have four of those left, you can use it on this. Um, you only have one pump. Uh, and it's... What do we say? Is it two or three times... <sighs> Uh, I'd say almost three times. Yeah. We're at uh, 1,700 gallons yep. per hour. So again, that really stresses you don't need to run your UV 24 hours a day. That's why we have a double plug. Correct. So that's what's going to help you save a lot of that hydrogen peroxide. And then just in case you don't know, if you're wondering, um, give them the breakdown of the kind of hydrogen peroxide they should be using. 
Well, that's a good question. Um, so there are two major uh, forms of hydrogen peroxide. Uh, well, I guess they're the same formula, but there are two versions of the same formula. One is the 3%, and then one is, or the other is food grade, which is 35%. So the one you can get just in the little, are they brown? Little brown bottles. Little brown bottles, are like Walgreens or Walmart. Um, and those are 3%, and then you can order 35% online. Um, which and, we highly recommend. Yeah, I mean, the difference is about 12 times. So whatever you're doing with the 35%, you've got to times it by 12 to get the equivalent for the 3%. So, you know, we really recommend going with the 35. The one thing is you've got to be careful because it's, it's stronger. So yeah. there are different precautions you've got to take with the 35%. Yeah, glove up. Make sure you have protective wear, eyewear. Yeah. That stuff, it'll, you know, just to be honest, it'll burn your hands a little bit. Like it, it's a concentrated hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, you've probably seen Shane in our other videos wearing goofy headgear. Yeah. Or something. I think he likes the goofy headgear. He just wears it for fun. Yeah. But, yeah, just take precaution. Eye safety. Yep. Don't drink it. Big, big, big key. So you can unplug the UV. That was a big question that we had just to save the hydrogen peroxide. And then like Mason was saying, so our pump works with any version of our float tent. So this is something that we highly recommend that you upgrade. It's just a, a better all around pump, better all around system. Yeah, and this is the actual pump unit itself. So there's the pump and then here's the UV unit. You can see the UV light through these slots when it's lit up. And they have awesome. separate plugs. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, as always, we just want to thank you for paying attention, for giving us a shout out, and for uh, dealing with Mason. I don't know. It felt easy. Wait, what? It felt easy. It's a privilege. Okay. It's a privilege to deal with the guru down here. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, please let us know. Please email. Again, that's uh, info at zenfloatco.com. Yeah. If you are interested in upgrading to our new filtration system, this is something that we hi uh, highly recommend. Yep. Also, if you prefer phone calls, our number is 801-871-5140. And we'll post that in the comments just in case you missed that. We'll link it up. Is that what we do? Yeah. Is that, is that linking up? I got to shut the camera off now. Yeah. Mason solo time. Hey. That's it? That's it. You had all this time to solo. That was and so that's much effort. That's fair. I'm a sloth. All right. Um, John is wondering how much for just a filter for the for his, his DIY. How much for just the filter? So we have two different filters. Um, we have the UV filter and then we have the bag filter. Um, I'm not sure on the price on this. If you send us an, an email, I can get back with you on pricing for the UV filter. But our bag filters, these are priced, I think, at $9.99 individually. And then five packs are $39.99. Perfect. So. And then William out there's got a question. Are the upgrades that you are coming out with being given to previous customers? Or are they having to purchase these upgrades as they come out? That's a good question. I think it depends on the situation. Um, just wanted to purchase one of these. Um, you could do that by sending us an email. So make sure you definitely contact Mason because yeah. we'll reach out a you know a per circumstance basis. Yeah. And then shout out to Ellen. Ellen. You're our favorite, Ellen. I hope she's floating. Yeah. Ellen, are you floating? We hope you're back to floating. Let us know. Yep. Let us know. All right. Have a great Wednesday and go find your Zen. See ya.